Hello everyone, this is my Christmas premiere. I will probably be in the premiere so I can speak to everyone that is joining me this year. I hope everyone has had a Merry Christmas. I hope everyone's having a good time with family and friends. If not, I hope that what we are doing here with all of these tr premieres have kind of helped you along the way feel a little better. Um, it hasn't felt very Christmassy to me this year either, so I don't know. I just, I'm not in the mood f to do a Christmas themed show, so I thought what I would do instead is kind of show you what I've worked on or what I am working on. Maybe a little bit of what I've gotten through this year. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. And it's going to be a Merry Catty Christmas. Yes, that's my, my cat Luna. That's her Luna butt. She is the Flame Point Polydactyl. She's in here co-hosting with me today. I don't know that I can really show you a good picture of her. She does have mittens. She has six toes on every paw. So she's my extra girl. Sweet as a button. Adorable. I love this little girl. Anyway. So. This is what I've been working on to try to get myself in the mood for Christmas. It's just a little cute mouse snack size, you know, whatever. I've This will tell you how bad it's been. I have worked on this probably all month and this is, I'm not even, I'm halfway through it, but you know, still have a lot to go. I hope to kick it out today, tomorrow, and finish it up. This one is just uh, one of those you get off the internet. I probably ordered it. Yeah, I don't remember where I ordered it. Maybe the Diamond Factory or something like that. Um, but that's what I'm going to do today. Mostly is kind of show you what I what I have gotten this year here recently show you what I'm up to show you a little bit about what's going on in my life I can't introduce myself too because a lot of you don't really know much about me I stay kind of quiet I am part owner of whimsical daisies which you might all know as not your mama's mud um, I'm not well known by Beth Minton except for by, you know, some of the people that have been around longer, but I'm more known as Not Your Mama's Mud, which is fine. It's whatever. So, these may be a little Diamond Art Club heavy. I do not strictly buy from Diamond Art Club. You're going to see that. There's a whole big spattering of different companies, but yes, I do have a lot of Diamond Art Clubs. I just, I got stuck in a few designers and a few of the artists, like Hannah Lynn, uh, Micah Jelena. So, you know, that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, that's a Luna head. Her name is Luna Tick. Tick being her middle name. So we'll get rid of that. Oh, one thing that I did want to show you before I get into that. Honest opinions, guys. Okay? Honest opinions. I don't know if many of you have been ordering for me lately. I picked, 
I've been putting stickers in everyone's packages just kind of as, as a thank you. And this, these are some stickers I picked up and I don't know if you guys would be interested in or not. I'm kind of hesitant about putting them in there, but give me some feedback and let me know. Notice, checking it out first. They are, okay, Luna, come on, honey, let them see. Joe Exotic stickers, Tiger King, in all of his glory. I got him because I thought that would be hilarious. But if not, you know, let me know. There's all kinds of people. I think that's the guy that he, um, that bought his, his menagerie. So, I mean, it's, it's just got a lot of, of our favorite, you know, <laughs> um, Joe Exotic stuff. Oh, by the way, this is for not for 18 and under, okay? There may be cussing, so if you're not 18, please go watch some other show. But yeah, these are just some of the some of the characters I have. I thought they were amusing. I didn't know. This is just my twisted warped sense of humor. That one right here, just downright cute. If you guys think that it would be cool to put in, let me know. If not, let me know that too. Comments in the, down in the comments. Comment in the comments section. Yes, yay. Okay, if you guys don't know, I do have fibromyalgia. And my fibro fog is real and it's hard for me to get words out correctly sometimes and it's hard for me to remember words sometimes so just please bear with me we'll get through this so as you can see there's all kinds of Tiger King stickers to enjoy I don't think there's one of him running for president in there. But yeah, just all kinds of different little Tiger King stuff. So let me know. Let me know what you think. If it's in poor taste, let me know. If you think it would be amusing and you want me to put these in there, let me know that too. Feedback is very, very important. Okay. Some of the stuff I get into. I'm going to start this. It is steel sheets that you make into the actual models. I'll open this one up. And let you see how detailed it is. So, these are the instructions. It's, it's a, I mean, they're, they're pictures. It's pretty easy. You know, looks fairly simple to put together. Until you get to it and look at it. And then it's like, oh, wait. This right here. Is what you're supposed to turn into that base. There's can't okay. yeah. There's only one sheet of metal. That's all the pieces. <laughs> That's all the pieces right there. And yeah, you you put all those together and make the 
the model. So that's something I'm kind of looking into trying. I do build the miniature houses. We have a YouTube group for that. It's DP Miniature Houses, I believe, is the name of it. We're hopefully going to start that back up here pretty soon. Kind of get together on Zoom calls and build together. Mystria Diamonds and I have been running it in the past. Hopefully, you know, she wants to continue and we'll just, we'll go from there. Get back going. We're kind of there to to help you guys along just to see, you know, if you have any questions, we'll be there to answer. Okay. So, onward to the diamond paintings. This, I'm not going to open it. Your usual, you know, double stick adhesive. We found to keep them intact like this in their rules until you're ready to do them. Don't flatten them out yet. So that's why I don't want to open it. This was one that I've seen on the internet ever since I've started, well, AliExpress, ever since I started diamond painting. And it's one of those where it's, you know, it's cute. Not everyone's taste, but it's one of those, I, it, for me, it was a must-have from day one. And I finally ordered it. And it's just a whole bunch of frogs. Yeah. It's frogs on frogs on frogs. I thought they were cute as all get out. And colorful. Very colorful. As you can see, there's a ton of different colors in there. I, of course, did the checklist once I got it. I think I was missing one of them. But no biggie. You know, we all have spares. It is a square. And it's just your usual AliExpress. It did come in the bubble wrap. That, but I don't think it really hurts anything as long as you keep this rolled up. As is until you're ready to work on it. And I just keep it as is. You know, taped, everything. Once I get ready to do this, then I'll unroll it and start on it. Um, another thing that I do, that I collect, are miniatures. All kinds. These are Dungeons and Dragons. These get painted. I have a ton of paint. I don't have any finished right now that I can show you. I've not started it yet. But I'm telling you guys, look at the detail. There's lots of detail on these. And there's what, when they painted it, that's how they painted it. You don't have to do it how they do it. You can do it however you want. These are a little bit more expensive. That is what it looks like. It is an owlbear, snowy owlbear. It's from Dungeons and Dragons. I don't play tabletop Dungeons and Dragons. I've played it on my computer as a video game. But I'm telling you guys, these, if you're into miniatures, these are what's next, I think, is painting and putting these together because they come in pieces. This one isn't as bad as some I have. 
you have to glue them on to his stand. I think where'd the box go? Yeah. He goes on right like that. You glue him in and then he's got the two arms that you have to glue on. And then you paint him. And you can add texture to the base. You can add grass, you know, you paint that like it's a rock. You can add mold to the, to the rock, moss to the rock. So yeah, they're very, very fun to do. Like I said, I don't have any painted right now that I can show you. But it's in the works. Um, got the roof fixed finally. I'm starting on my craft slash business slash office. And then I'll be in business. This hasn't I haven't even opened this one. It's got there you go. The familiars, the treasure cards, plastic figures. Let me see what they are. So you've got a little dragon here. You've got like that's like an owl. That's a little cat. Sorry. That's a cat. That's a bat. And that's like a little gargoyle. So these are the chaotic familiars. Again, this is just a small sliver of the ones that I have. I've got tons and tons and tons of paint. If you guys hear anything in the background, I have cats. It's them. Okay. I was told... I did, I, I've tried to do one crystal canvas, one full crystal canvas, and I didn't like it. I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way that the crystals looked. I thought they were, they just, they didn't do it for me. You know, it, it looked bland. Kind of colorless. But I was told to try again and to get crystal canvas arts this time. So I did. These are crystal canvas art. This one is Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. I absolutely adore this one. Don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> Couldn't tell you. I don't know. Maybe the dragonflies or... I don't know. <laughs> that was a joke. I love dragonflies. There are a story behind my dragonflies, but that may be for another day. So I haven't even opened these yet. I haven't looked at them. So there's the the drills. We'll see. There's some pretty ones in there. We'll see. Maybe I'll try this. Try one of these next. I'll show you. What I can I'll go this way. The canvas. Luna Lou. So there's the Hello Darkness. Beautiful, beautiful iridescent dragonfly. That's why I got this. Was because of the dragonfly. And then the other part of it. I don't know if the three tins. I don't know if they're crystal, crystal or not. I don't know. They're silver backed. I'll have to look at it when I get into it. Let's see. 
quite sticky enough. Oh yeah. Good on the stickiness. It came... Sorry for the noise. It came in a box. In a box. So that's good. Very well protected. No dings or anything on the box. Either one. So that's good. I, I, I like it. I hope I like it when I'm doing it as much as I like it now. It's kind of weird. It's got a square tray. Never really had a square tray. Hmm. Square piece of wax, the thin tweezers, and a single placer. Doesn't look like any multi placer at all, but sure. If you're like me, you've got tons of them around. And then the second one I got, I don't remember. Just a colorful mandala. I love mandalas. I love them. Absolutely love them. Hopefully this one will be as pretty done as the picture is of it unfinished. That's it right there. Oops. Oh, we'll see. Square boat, single placer, square wax, thin tweezers, same diamonds. They look, they don't look too bad. Yeah, they don't look too bad. And then. That's so cool. I love mandalas. I can't show you because it's on my phone, but I color, like, color by number apps on my phone, and I do all the mandalas because they are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I might not open all these. I might just show you the pictures. Oh wow. Yep, it's got the key on both sides. One here and then one on that side. That's cool. I got one. I just, I had to have it. I am an Edgar Allan Poe fan. A little dark sense of humor and when whispered word Lenore came out I absolutely had to have it so I don't have it in here right now but I did get it um, so yeah Oh, and this is my, my table that I work on in bed. This part, you probably can't see it because you're on it, but this whole part is, it'll raise up. It is a, an easel. Okay, what do I do next? Let's see, get into the diamond art clubs. Randall Spangler, had to have it fits my sense of humor 100%. I love this one. Had to have Boo. That little guy back here just cracks me up. Love it. I'm not one that likes um, Chuck Pinson. I just, they're not my kind of scenes. Until I saw this one. 
and this one was a must have. It is Sanctuary. Absolutely had to have that one. That is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So now when they do another chuck along, I might join in. Maybe. We'll see. I never finish in time. I'm a slow diamond painter. Treasure Studios Art. I... am mixed on my feelings about them. And that's all I'm going to say. I need to talk to them before I say anything. I've done one. I just wasn't happy. Wasn't impressed. This one. If Jeremy does another giddy up along. This is it right here. This is another must have. I this is absolutely gorgeous. The other one is, I think it's Shaman by Diamond Art Club. That's another must have. I am Cherokee and Blackfoot. And that just, these speak to me. These really speak to me. Dreamcatcher. Micah Jelena, another one. It was a have to have. She is absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Very well done. Um, this is something I want to start. Origami. I got this, and it, it, I've looked through it, it's got different folding techniques, like that one's the crane, you know, it shows you like the tools you need to use. Um, you know, how to fold. That kind of stuff. Types of folds. The symbols you go through. I initially got this. I've always been interested in origami. But I initially got this because of these two right here. For the miniature dollhouses that we do. These. To score your paper with. Are the best. It sounds. Kind of. Barbaric but these if they are real bone are excellent I don't know if these are bone or plastic I haven't looked at it yet but those are excellent tools to have excellent let's see tons of stuff in my bed right now <laughs> do another diamond art club So, this one is My Garden Needs Tending. I absolutely had to have this too. I have been a Poison Ivy fan for a while. I liked Harley Quinn before Harley Quinn made it big in Suicide Squad. Um the character Harley Quinn made it big in Suicide Squad. I've I've watched her for years. I just, you know, I watched the cartoons, read some of the comic books, so this was an absolute had to have. Didn't happen until a little bit later in the game, but I got it. Okay. Little Two second break. I'm 
I'm not used to talking. Craftably. The Halloween Dragonling. I love the Dragonlings. Absolutely love them. I want all the ones I can get my hands on. Unfortunately, my bank account isn't going to let me. But slowly but surely, I will get them all. I've done, I think, two of them so far. I've blinged them out. Put, um, oh, ABs and their wings and such. Gorgeous when you do that. Absolutely gorgeous. Like this one. I'm probably going to accent maybe the little blue in her hair here. Right there. That color. And I'll probably accent maybe the gold in her wing. I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to figure that out. Look at it a little bit closer. And maybe her eyes. Like the middle of her eyes. I might bling that out just a little bit. I don't like doing a lot of bling. I do like doing a little bit. But not a ton. And this hasn't been opened yet, guys. I'll admit I haven't even looked at this one. We can look at it together. I didn't just get it here not too long ago. And how do you get in this booger? Where's it at? Hang on. Oh, interesting. Okay. needed a knife. Now, if y'all watch Miss Coffee, I, I don't fool around with the <laughs> the little knives she has. No, I have my knives. <laughs> That's what I use. 100% love the thing. Sitting right beside me. And then, sorry about the light play there. Excuse the dustiness of it all, because they've been sitting here for a minute. I haven't had to get them out. And oh my gosh. And you have cats, the dander and the hair that just, wow, it's, it's everywhere. Oh, I need to clean these. My socks, my throwing knives. Absolutely love these. It's a set of three. These are right next to me too at all times. They're thin as all get out. I'll tell you what, that sucker is sharp. I would not want to come across that. But it's thin. It's a throwing knife. But it holds. And, and like I said, I need to clean them up. I know that. I'm very embarrassed about how bad of shape they're in. I didn't realize that. But yeah adore these went back to get another set and couldn't find them so yep, set of three ignore that one <laughs> I know I'm cringing too but yep love them love them love them 
They're my my letter openers. <laughs> my very sharp letter openers. So let's see here. Ooh. Yeah. See in her face. I might honestly do like one of the darker reds. Yeah, and then do this right here. That right there. And, you know, bling that out. There are the drills. Haven't had a problem craftably at all. Uh, knock on wood. So far. No problems at all. There are the picture, start finish date, bags galore. They're not the cheesy bags, these are the good bags. These are the stickers to put on your storage containers. A little large for me, but hey, you know. They're here. It's all that counts. And then in here you have probably a four placer. You have the container of wax, a square of wax, your scrunchie for your pin, a pin, another multi placer. I think this one is either a six or a seven. Yep. And then the good tweezers. I can open it up if you guys want to see. But I think we all pretty much know. Let's see. Good. Tweezers. Four placer. Oh, they make this so perfectly it is hard to get out. Okay. Yep. A four placer, four placer. This is a seven placer. Wax, wax, scrunchy. So, better than average kit. Much better than average kit. And on the back of the sheet of stickers are your instructions for doing the canvas. So that's cool. She's gorgeous, guys. She is really, really gorgeous. I'm going to try to do this. Just so you know, like I said, I have garbage up my bed. So if you see my bed, this isn't normal. <laughs> I just dug a bunch of stuff out to show you guys and I kind of threw it all on my bed. So this isn't normal, like I said. Let me try this. Yep, okay. So here she is. Once again, like I said, that's craftably. I would probably, I would buy from Craftably after I would buy from Diamond Art Club. I think they're about comparable anymore. Good stick. They come in the tubes. Well protected. They give you tons of bags. Plenty for your diamond painting. Above average tool kit. Pleasant to talk to. Pleasant to buy from. Not saying DAC is not. But if you're looking for an alternative, I'd definitely look into craftably. Alright.
right, let's try this again. This will be part two. Fuji floral. Flora. That is just gorgeous. But the size is what scares me. 100% scares me. It is huge. This will be my challenge. And this is going to have to happen when I, once I get my office set up. So that way I can actually use my drawing table as a drawing table. Well, a diamond painting table. I also got a bunch more from that website that I told you about. I think it's the American Factory or whatever. Just little ones. Little gnomes. Gotta love the gnomes. The majority of what I got were gnomes. I got... I don't even know how many of these different kinds of gnomes. I forgot about really ordering them. And then I got this big bag and I was like, oh my gosh, what's that? And it was all of these. So you got the, t the little guy here. Another it's lemon lemonade with a license plate down here. It's cute. I was going to do a whole gnome Christmas this year, but I don't know. Just didn't feel very Christmassy this year. Another thing I've been doing, which I can't really show you, I don't think I have one done, is for our Humane Society here in town. They sell stuff that people make and um, donate to them. They'll sell in their little shop and that way they can make money. So I have little, sorry about that, that was a stupid driver, whatever. So I make little cat toys out of these. You just single crochet however many loops you need to on one of these. It's just a key ring. Go all the way around a couple times single crocheting. Tie it off and there you have a cat toy. Make sure all of your ends are tied up so that way they can't chew on them as easily because... Honestly, yarn and cats are not a good thing, but in this form, it's okay as long as you watch it and make sure they can't ingest the yarn. That's where your your bad part comes from. I'm just, I use leftover, you know, it's, it's a stash buster. You can use them for, um... Christmas tree ornaments. Did a bunch in that. Um, another one that I really like to use is your... The cookies and cream, I think it is. I had it up here. I don't know where it is. The little balls, the little skeins of yarn. They make good, good toys. The peaches and cream. Those right here. Those are better. Um, another thing you can do is if you have old sheets, donate your old sheets. Old blankets that you don't use. Towels 
to your local humane society. They always, always need those. Tons of them. They go through towels and blankets and stuff like crazy. Um, I'm crocheting my mom a blanket, but that's nothing major. It's just a granny square all the way around. I'm just around and around and around. Yes, yes, I'm aware of where this came from. I fell in love with this yarn, with this colorway. And I was at my mom, visiting my mom. She's in the nursing home. And I asked her, Mom, do you like this? And she said, yes. She likes the colors. She likes the yarn. It is the Karen... It's really soft. Problem is, is I have three more skeins of it and I can't remember what I did with them. So, in this color, you can't find any more. I've been having to order it off of eBay. But, anyway, I'm going to leave you guys here. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. I know this wasn't very Christmassy. I don't know, just, it's been a, a weird year this year. I did do the, the Christmas tag last year. If you guys want to go, go read, or go watch that. Um, it's, it's Christmassy. This one was not, it just, I don't know. Like I said, it's just been a weird year. But anyway, I hope you guys... Have an awesome Christmas and a, and a great new year. And I plan on doing more recording on my channel. I know I've been remiss in that. I will. I'm going to step it up. And I will hopefully see you guys, more of you guys later. Alright, take care. Bye now.